Great to be here, Bad Feeders 2015, uh, Prime TV 1040. Uh, I want to talk, I want to bring it up because look, Hal, it has been a huge topic in the last couple of days. That is the flag, the four designs. Uh, Julianne is animated talking to David Seymour about it. You must be excited about this, Julianne. No, okay. David, Jacinda Ardern, what do you think? Is it, it's a bit sour grapes, is it? Is it a bit sour grapes? Because this is part of our national identity. For once, we have this chance. One in a 100 year chance to have a new flag. Why not, I say? No, and, and look, we were really open about the fact that having a debate about a flag is one thing, <coughs> but we're talking $26 million of sour grapes. That's a lot of money, and it didn't have to cost that much. Let's be really clear, you could have Well, how much people, would it have cost? Well, one referendum could have, if you paired it right back, could have been six mil. Six mil. Um, if, but why didn't we ask people if they wanted to do it first? Well, why didn't we say yes or no, new well, flag? We we no well, what, that's, is, is that how it happens overseas, Julia? And is that how it happens? You don't get a choice. You get sort of like uh, Frank Bainimarama. He's just basically foisted a few designs and he's, ch he's chosen a design. I think that the process was not as representative and democratic as it could have been. I think that we definitely should have had more public involvement through electronic voting on the final 40. And I think it, we should be having a debate about what the flag really means. This looks like a very empty corporate logo. It's not... What does it mean? What, what does it mean to you? What does a flag mean to you? Well, I think it is should it make some reference to the history of this country. And that's which what those four designs have done. They've been chosen uh, wisely. What do you think, Alfred Naro? Well, the thing is... Um, there, there, there they are there. The thing is, Wallace, is that this is nothing new. This debate has been going on for 60 to 70 years. Many New Zealanders, sporting and otherwise, have been turning around. Yes, so Matsurata said in 1995, uh, 92, he said the new flag should reflect our future, not just our history and our heritage. This has been going for what? And the RSA finally said this, Wallace. They said if it go is going to happen, let it not be by parliament, let it be by referendum. Let the nation choose. Yeah, you know, That's the reason why we're having a referendum. Be Nothing honest. says future like lasers. All That's right. all I'm saying. Not <laughs> <laughs> um, be honest, Alfred. Do you personally like the designs? Do you like the designs? The design I actually like is the one actually, as Richie McCaw said, which is the one with the silver fern. Oh, okay, no, it's the black Alfred. and blue. Alfred, I've got, don't, I've got no, no, no. You I, 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 I can see it in your response. eyes. You don't like. You like the Tinoranga Tiratanga flag, perhaps? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I like the fern. You like the fern. Like the fern. What about you, David? Is this a, is it is this a waste of space, a waste of time, or is it is it like Alfred says? A debate that's been going on nearly a century. Yeah, I, I just find it so hard to get excited about. Either way, what would you? What? <laughs> go on, go on. What would you? What would you have? You know, when you're driving your little, I don't know, your chopper there and on the dashboard. What would you have there? Uh, I get caught on the blades. But look, I mean, I'm looking at a bunch of young people that are going to be absolutely weighed down by the cost of super. The prime minister says he won't change that. If we're going to have a referendum, let's do it on something that actually matters to the future of New Zealand. And I, you know, what we should have done uh, is actually appointed an expert panel to generate some options on that uh, and had a vote on the is future of super and the age of entitlement and fiscal sustainability and fairness amongst generations in this country instead of changing a small piece of cloth. All right, that's a good, that's a good point. Would you like to respond to that, Alfred? Oh, look... What I support is the fact is, is that the nation actually gets a chance to choose. By the way, it's not going to cost six million, as Jacinda said. Actually, inside the select committee, for one referendum, it's 16 to 18 million dollars, okay? That's what's going to cost. At the end of the day, the nation gets to choose, the people well, get to choose. And remember, it's, got about, it's about the history, the heritage, but also I'll the I'll go future. to Damien, we'll come back to you. Damien. Yeah, I was having a bit of a conversation before, and it's like, if we don't change it this time because we don't like these ones, do we get to have another go in 10 years' time or something like that, or are we... We don't want to be that country that changes our flag all the time. I wanted to come to someone in a Team Key T-shirt. Hello there. You go. Hello. How are you going? Just because I want to see if this is a, a partisan thing, if we're sort of a national people. Do you think we should change the flag? Um, I'm quite undecided, to be honest. Really? Okay, cool. Okay. Do you like the current one, or do you just not like the alternatives? Um, I quite like the blue and red one. The silver, the, the National Party, John Key likes one? Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, okay, let's go to another guy in a Team Key t-shirt. No, no, I got it, I got it. Cause, hey, which, which of the flags do you like? Um, I think I like the red and blue one with silver fin. Good, okay, so not partisan at all, then it's totally random which ones you choose. What about you, sir? What about me? Um, the bottom one on the right. 
bottom one on the right, so mm. the other alternative. Do you think it's like those sort of, you know, multi-choice answers in an exam where <laughs> there's two that are basically <laughs> right and then a couple that are really wacky so you know that you have to choose one of those two? Mm. Yeah, maybe. All right. Wallace? All right, so people keep asking me, right, uh, in the pub at the dairy, uh, the Waterview Dairy, what's your favourite, Wallace? What's your favourite? What are you like? What are you like? And I do want to change a flag, actually. I'm not a big fan, like I've said it, I'm not a big fan of uh, the flag as a presence. So, and I mean this, I think it's very cool, it's very, what is it, it's international, it's almost very Andy Warhol. This is my favourite flag, I'd be proud of this one here. I could wear that in Paris, Tokyo, New York. Round of applause for the laser, Kiwi! Let's bring... We've got to go. Quiz next.